Berry One Genome here coming to you with my next uh, how to slash upgrade video for the RK One Up series. Uh, excuse my voice, I'm really sick right now, but I needed to go ahead and shoot this because I've been posting about it and I wanted to add video as well. So, what am I going to be doing today? I'm going to be adding a new uh, marquee backdrop here. Let me turn this down a little bit. Um, to replace the fairly washed out uh, OEM one that came with uh, the Moral Kombat, or Moral Kombat uh, Legacy 2 cab. So, I mean, it's not bad, and as far as some of the other uh, OEM marquees, it's actually a fairly decent one, but this is Mortal Kombat. It deserves better. So, uh, I went ahead and purchased a replacement from Sabo's Arcades, and uh, I'm going to be showing you how to install this. It's really easy. I've done this now so far on my Star Wars cab, and I also got the replacement uh, 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 marquee panel for the T2 cab too. So uh, you're not going to need too much to do this other than the panel. Uh, you're going to need either a heat gun and or a blow dryer. I already have a heat gun and a little bit of alcohol and this is not for internal use. Uh, we're just going to be peeling off. It's basically a sticker that runs across here and I'm going to show you how to do that and then place this, replace it with this slip on unit that goes right over top but you got to pull the old one off first so anyway there it is in the, in the daylight and I'll show you night shots and it's super easy I've already done this once before it'll take you about 20 minutes total uh, so let's get into it all right so here you go you got your heat gun going we're gonna go ahead and preheat using I'm gonna use the low setting I already started the corner here the area you want to get started just peel the corner and we're not going to do the whole thing. We're going to kind of go as we go. I'll show you. So let's go ahead and get it started. Try not to tear it. We'll make it easier on yourself. All right. So basically, what we're going to do from here on out is slowly heat before it evenly and peel. Not getting to be too big a rush. If you keep it all one piece, I guess you can make decoration out of it afterwards. I'm not, I don't get too close with the gun either. Oh, so you might burn this acetate or whatever it's called. Just pull nice and slow and even. If it starts resisting, put a little longer heat on it. And you can tell. The key to this is try to do it all at once. Don't let it set, because it cools off really quick. And don't get impatient on the home stretch either. All right, so there you go. Light box is there. Old sticker is off. Put your gun down somewhere it won't burn anything. And now what we're gonna have to do is, get any big pieces off here, what we're gonna have to do is clean the light box. And that's what the alcohol is gonna be for. Uh, it's easier to do this when it's fresh. So let me go ahead and get that going. I don't think we're going to have to change shots. I might move this around a little bit, but apply it liberally to whatever you're using to wipe it down. I'm going to use a cloth in this case. And go at it. They say you can use Goo Gone and all that. Uh, it says in the paperwork that comes with it, you can use alcohol. That's what I used the first time. And I use paper towels. That may be better for it. I don't know. I'm trying the, the cloth this time. I just want to leave behind a bunch of residue. Now, I was trying to use a razor knife and it wasn't working at all. So definitely need to use some kind of solvent. It doesn't have to be perfect. I mean, I don't have any big globs of stuff on there. Gonna be just fine right there. If you got any hot spots or areas you think it need extra touch up? Go ahead and hit it. 
like I said, this, don't, this part doesn't have to be perfect. So just from my experience now with two different ways of doing this, I'd say the paper towel works better. Uh, leave behind less stringers and all that, but really this is not that bad. So like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. Um, it just needs to be a good standard light box, right? So go ahead and get ready for the next step. Now I'm gonna do something, I don't know if it's required, but I like to make things a little easier on myself. I'm going to back the camera off just a little bit here and I'm going to loosen up. the bolts here on top and separate this top shark fin just a tiny tiny bit to make it easier to put the slip on on okay and it comes looking like this all right and this is just basically gonna slap right on top of your light box I have to do a little bit of Bending just a tiny bit, don't bend it too much. Okay, get that where you want it. I'm gonna re tighten here. Make sure it's down there pretty well. And Viola, you have a new marquee. So basically, this should hold this color really well, and I'll go ahead and kill the lights here in a second so you can see the difference. But yeah, um, I know it made a world of difference on my Star Wars cab and of course T2. The Star Wars ca uh, sticker came off a lot better than this one did. I don't know if it's a difference in material or whatever. Uh, this is definitely better than the OEM Star Wars ones, but uh, I mean you can just see the different color in here that you can never see Like the clouds and all that you can't see here and uh, Just looks so much better. So let me go ahead and Kill this real quick and get the lights and then you can see uh, the finished product. All right So here it is in the dark and you can't see me too well But you can just see how much better and more crisp it looks and it looks like the marquee should have looked originally but unfortunately almost none of these OEM ones are any good at all especially in these older models so yeah there it is let me go ahead and hit the lights one more time for you so you can see it's in the cold light of day okay and uh, there it is but uh, great upgrade and you know $50 later or $45 later it was, this thing is looking like it should. So as you can see, the process couldn't be easier. Uh, if you'd ever wanna change these out, don't be afraid of it. Some of the other uh, distributors you can buy from, you have to replace the whole light box. This one, it's, if there's an existing light box with this kind of setup, with a sticker setup, it couldn't be easier. So if you have a heat gun or a hair dryer, and uh, I don't know, a washcloth and a bottle of alcohol, which costs 50, no, a dollar Dollar Tree, you can do this whole project in like, 20 minutes. I did it in like 20 minutes, including camera time. So super easy, high quality stuff over at Sabos. There'll be a link in the description below of where you can go to get these fine products. And I'll be probably doing some more video updates of the other ones that I do. Eventually when I do my next arcade walkthrough. So anyway, thanks for uh, watching. Stay tuned for more uh, arcade one up and uh, home arcade content coming up here in the near future. And until next time, this is Genome. Just Mortal Kombat in away. The old terrible OEM marquee sticker. Out.